Well, today on the 1959 Axeman Anderson 130M, we got a bunch of the plumbing put back together. Put the, uh, the trombone on it that goes to the uh, garage pump and the house pump. Got the house, hard to see, got the house tied into the PEX that goes into the basement on the supply side at least. The return side have it plumbed out of the, well, into the return. And I have it back here. This is all in here. This is just sitting here to plug it up a little bit. And so this is permanently done to about here. Still need a little bit more length. I need a longer piece of one and a quarter inch pipe for the return there. The wiring is uh, going to be done sometime soon. I still have to, uh, plumbing wise, I still have to connect the expansion tank that's up there down to the bottom of the air scoop and hook the supply water line into the bottom of the air scoop also. And we still have to put the PRV in there. We're also going to run a bypass loop. It's going to be one inch copper out of here and it's going to come around and it's going to go into here along with the uh, boiler drain. The cat's not real impressed. She doesn't like all this plumbing work. Not real thrilled with Axeman Andersons because the, the pea coal makes a little bit more noise than the rice coal. So she's complaining. But uh, most of the rest of it is done. I'm going to put the bearing back in here after I clean it up and lube it. Put the chain on. And not a whole lot else, really. This is the cart of stuff that needs to be cleaned up and painted. Just the two ash doors and the, uh, the Pope's hat. Then, after, after that's done, and the wiring's done, and the plumbing's done, then we'll, we'll worry about connecting it to the chimney. Well, that's about it.